Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 587. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Ahoy! And Tony Korkanakis. Yo! Welcome, listeners and viewers, to 587 of the Gamecast. Uh, we, we're here. Uh, we're on Twitch, again, streaming every Tuesday nights. Check us out uh, live, if you want. Write us a comment, write us a question, right in the, in the chat. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Uh, next day is YouTube, so check it out. The next day, we don't see us live. We're also on Twitch for the, like two weeks after, if you want to watch those re-recordings. Um, so anyways, this is our Gamecast. We have been up to games, and we're going to get into that now. Um, Mike, what have you been playing? <laughs> I've been playing Horizon uh, for Ben West. I, like I mentioned in Discord, I had a little bit of a problem because everyone's talking about Elden Ring so much. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm not playing a hard game. I'm playing just Horizon. So I haven't been paying attention to what I'm doing whatsoever in this game. And oh. I am playing on hard mode instead of, like, you know, the default. There's one level higher than that. But And I'm to the point where I'm noticing, like, I have no resources. I'm spending more resources to, like, kill things than what I'm getting back. I'm like, well, that's not good. <laughs> so I kind of screwed myself with my build or whatever I'm doing. I don't know. I, I, so I started to pay it. A little more attention be a little more strategic with what i'm doing other than just running in blind and saying like oh i'll get stuff so you know i'm, I'm there i'm i'm now like 40 hours in i've got purples now <laughs> but uh mm -hmm. maybe halfway through the story i'm not 40 sure 40 hours and you're only halfway holy crap what I, the huge. game that is huge. massive and and I am, I've gotten, I'm like, all right, I'm going to right? I will never play the game. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm also, you know, going off because I don't have I just, anything. Can you just I still wonder like what the campaign out. actually takes. Yeah. yeah I don't think the campaign good. itself would probably be like 30 hours if you try to just do that and nothing else. But you're going to be kind of weak for a it, lot of it. it. I'm going to say, can you do that? Probably, really? especially on the yeah. lower levels. Um, I didn't have any problem with the. What you guys had that bullshit armor, right? At the end of the Horizon, oh, no. I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" Yeah. I didn't That's have broken. it. I didn't have it. Yeah. I didn't need it for the last boss. I was like, "I fought you guys for." The um, it's funny because they actually you you're wearing that armor when the game starts, but it's broken at this point, yeah. so it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's the whole Metroid Man, and, Man thing, right? It's too powerful. They had her, to, uh, well, yeah. I mean, they had to. It was broken, like they, they, literally, they, they, like game they, broken. They changed it in the patch too in the game because it was too powerful. Mm. But um, no, I mean, the story goes places that are very interesting. Big difference, and um, I've, there's just so many more weapons and armors to choose from, and a lot, uh, uh, a, a lot to do. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the board game in it. I've tried it a little bit. It's okay. It's it's no Gwent, I guess, but it's uh. Yeah, it's optional. But, you can skip it, I'm sure. It's optional, but I found myself playing it to get shards because I was out of everything, and I'm like, well, I could get a hundred shards if I win one of these. God damn it! So right. it, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, well, no, I'm I mean, still at, at it. A lot of time in that game. It sounds like you're enjoying it. No, I yeah. I am mostly. I just I have to actually think a little bit more when I'm playing it, which is good. Yeah, probably the next game more, I go to. But... More than I thought. Yeah. yeah. Corey, and, and yes, it's it's still visually the best game I've ever seen. I think. That's. Yeah. I mean, the other game, the the first one was really impressive. So, mm -hmm. um, Corey, what are you even playing? I mean, there's a lot more Destiny. Played a whole bunch of Destiny. You know, okay. <laughs> so you're looking Destiny for that next all game the time right now. You're looking well, for I, I still I still have a lot of stuff to do in Destiny. There's like a no, lot in this experience. No, you don't. You know, can I can I introduce you to a friend of mine? The, the his thing name is, is Elden Ring. The problem is two weeks, two weeks. <laughs> you know, you got Wonderlands coming. Soon, so. I I know. Um, to be I fun, love to that. Be honest, um, uh, yeah. I I love that you're joining a Elden friend Ring of because, yours. Yeah, a friend like, of mine. I know you it's, said you it's, never it's played games. Is so, this an abusive goddess. friend? I have yeah. to say, like, yeah, this game. Jim, if this game wasn't built the way it was built, would you be enjoying it as much as you have? No. If this game wasn't this game, would you be enjoying it as much? No. If I didn't I'm have saying, these aids like, and stuff, I would have stopped. If you, I'm, I'm saying, like, if you, like, <laughs> the way you can, you're going on Discord, like, exclaim, yeah, you're giving screenshots of being no, lost. No, no. You would not be doing that if you could lower the difficulty level, right? 
No, yeah, he'd be playing on baby mode. Level, he'd be on baby ah. mode, he'd be breezing through it, and yeah, it would be on meaningless to us. be on story <laughs> mode. I'd still be having fun with the game. I still would be. Because I'm still like, would you I'm know? still would using you? the eight. Not games. like this. I'm still using... you, I'm still... Still... you would not be talking about the game the way you're talking about This is about life it. affirming you're for you. You're strategizing with Tony. Like, you're, you're looking guys, things up on the line. I am. And you're like, I... all this time in, I'm watching you need videos. to beat this boss. And then when you do, how does that feel, Jim? How does it feel? <laughs> That's the value of this whole franchise. The whole I, difficulty. I can't, I can't see myself. Because if you had game, the like, option, tell me I'm wrong. If you had the option, game. would you you would have lowered a difficulty? By I now. would have. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. You didn't have a choice, so you had to get to the I'm looking for exploits. Uh, enjoyment of like being able I'm to. I'm looking for like anything I could do to get a leg up on this game, I try to do. Um, in fact, like I said, I in the fight I just finished, uh, Godric, which was the second boss, I've only finished the second boss. I am 16 hours into this game, and I've only <laughs> finished the second boss. Um, uh, so that's what I'm saying. Like That pace for me is not a good sign for me to fi finish. There's 12, I think. There's actually 12 main bosses, if I remember right. You put in enough time where you, I think you feel like you've gotten oh, I've your gotten my value. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm good. If, but I want to... No, but I still want to no. try to finish this game. Like, no. I want this game. I want to finish this game. The problem is, is like I'm using these aids uh, to help me win these battles. Like I've, M Margaret was a. You still have to have the skill to do it, Jim. You, ha you can have all the knowledge possible, but then you got to perform when time comes. Yeah, to perform, but gotta... I'm facing. I just faced this oh. world boss thing that Fine. I'm not even close on right now because I can't use the aids on him, and I'm like, for some reason I can't use my 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 wolves. I got no distractions, so I really have to bear down. Oh, is it jail? Oh, Ever go? It's uh, the starting uh, boss. I went back to fight him. Oh, the the, the, the spider guy, the multiple arm guys. No, the, the arm at the beginning of the game that kills you. Oh, you go back and I went fight back to fight him. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. I that. went back to fight him. I found like there's some awesome stuff you get after that. So I was like, okay, I'll oh, go back I'll and go do, do that. that. Um, but I uh, he destroyed me still and i'm like level i'm like level 42 now jesus um, okay yeah uh so i went and leveled more uh and got some runes and stuff like that and i'm like level i think 42 but i'm 60 like i'm 15 hours and 40 minutes into this game i just looked it up before we started this podcast so i can tell you guys the amount of time i played this game and like i said i've beaten two world bosses uh i've only beaten one sub boss and his name is patches and he's not a fucking boss he's like he's a pushover and uh so i don't feel that grand but like cory said like when I down these bosses, like it's it's the greatest feeling to actually uh, to beat them. I think Margaret was the the most impactful. This one was this one was. Um, you always remember your first, I, I got, Jim. You always remember your yeah. first. When I when I faced Godric the first time, I got him halfway down. So I was like, I'm, I could do I'm gonna beat this yeah. guy. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this guy. Margaret was like. <laughs> What do I, do? I wish what I could have been there. I wish I could have been there to watch the first fight with with Morgan. Yeah, I wish I could. So, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it was very much like you have like a difficult situation because like there. I, I'm going to talk about Destiny for a second. There's this. It, cause I'm doing the legendary <laughs> campaign. I'm doing it solo, and there's this room that you have to go through and like turn on these machines. And there's three of them in this room, so you have to go into do it each time, and you have to do that three times. So there's three phases to the boss in this battle. And that took me forever, but as like a puzzle, you got to figure out the puzzle to like the most efficient way to navigate the different things, and then you got to also get a little lucky, and hopefully you get a couple yeah. like there's still tops a little luck with it. You need. Yeah, and so like it, and then when it ha all comes together, it just feels awesome. You're like you you did something that you like you knew you had to overcome, and I think that's where these games like just excel at because you really have to put all of the knowledge that you're putting into like what you've done prior and all the like the skills that you've gained throughout like just muscle memory and stuff like that as well yeah and you put it's put a lot together of, and learn a lot of dodging how, a lot of dodging. Yeah, and then learn how the, the mechanics work and once you put it all together it's like very satisfying to know yeah, that the, the thing that the thing i have to remind myself and this is thank you for tony uh <laughs> saying i think he said this last week i think you said this last week is when you want to dodge don't <laughs> it's like just yeah wait a split so second to, yeah, yeah. And I still find myself doing it. Like Godric, uh, this morning I went to beat him. Like I was like, I knew I had him down to like, I actually had him beat uh, yesterday. And I tech, I showed you, I told you guys in Discord, uh, he had no health. He faded away dying and I faded away and I died. Um, so the game didn't give it to me. Uh, so I was like, okay, crap. So I didn't get close the rest of the night last night. I tried a few times and I was like, again, it was dodged before I was, I'm like, I was dodging. I'm like, I'm just, 
I'm just being I'm just being sloppy. I'm done tonight. I'm done. Uh, so I, fresh start this morning. Um, helped me. And actually, when I beat him, uh, I wasn't even looking at his health. I was not looking at his health whatsoever the entire time. Um, I went to make the. I actually just before I killed him, I did my um, unsheath attack. And as I did it, I was like, let me just glance down as I'm doing it because he was stunned for a second. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, no, he's dead. He's not stunned. He's he's dying. <laughs> So I went. I ran and grabbed my phone and took a picture of it and sent it to um, Discord because my phone is usually behind me. But uh, there's like, like I said, the, the, that. But those two bosses, I had exploits, like not exploits, but aid. I had my wolves, which are fodder, and actually the the person, the NPC you can summon in this was complete fodder for me as well. She just, I needed her to keep his attention. She does damage though to him too, um, which is great, and that's why I was able to beat him. I think I got lucky. Like I said, Corey, you talk. Sometimes you gotta get lucky. I think she did some crits uh, that helped me out quite a bit. Um, and stunned him. At least built his. There's like <clears throat> hidden stun damage in this game, uh, and you can't see that meter, but you can kind of. Hopefully, you can build it up, and you can. So I think she helped me with that. So I had a lot more stun damage done to him, uh, and um, yeah. So I finally downed him, and it felt really good. And in fact, when I beat him, uh, I, I didn't want to even go into that tower because I'm like, what's gonna kill me in this fucking tower behind him? <laughs> there was nothing in there. Yeah. Uh, thank God. But I was so worried about what's in there. Uh, I actually left that area. I didn't even go in the tower. I left the area and I just did some other stuff. And I went back just tonight before we started this. Uh, and I finally went through the tower and just, I'm like, oh, there's nothing in here. And then that's where we're at right now. But um, so now I have to find out where I'm going next. Yeah. So that's next for me. Um, but I guess I'm, I'm facing that that one boss there, but I was just tinkering with it. I saw you could beat him. I'm, I don't, I'm not tied into that. I'm just kind of jumping around a little bit. Did you beat the um, first night? Or whatever in that first area. The, the tree, the sentinel. Yeah, the tree yeah, sentinel. Tree sentinel. You beat that. No, guy? I should go back and be, I could beat him. Yeah, I know I can beat, beat him. Beat his ass. Yeah. Are you doing dungeons yeah. too or no? I've done a couple. Because dungeons uh, have bosses as well. Yeah, I don't usually get to the boss. I usually go in there. Like I look up items that would help me beat Godric, and I'm like, I'm going to these dungeons, and I'm running through and grabbing this shit. Yeah. Uh, like the second, like the second katana, which yeah, whatever yeah. they call it in this game. Uh, I found out where that was, and I ran through the undead dungeon. I just grabbed it, and, and then got myself <laughs> way out of there quick. Yeah, I mean, that's um, that's fair, too. But you should kill the bosses, too, because they give you, like, unique either uh, talismans or armor. I didn't know about the runes. I have to activate... You have to activate some of these runes these guys drop, but they're like Gauntlet Legends items, though. They fade away, don't they? They're only, like, good and sort of die. <clears throat> uh, so the demigod ones, so, like... Um... Godric's. Godric, yeah, you can activate his rune by using a rune arc, and it's active until you die. Yeah, so it's a, it's a one and done kind of thing. So well, I mean, it's, it's, it's one and arc. done. You'll have a bunch by the end of the game, but it's one of those things where it's like, I would recommend for like overworld use, not like pop it off on every boss because you'll you will be dying. You're probably bosses. gonna die. Yeah, yeah, exactly, stuff like that. But like, if you're just exploring the overworld, it'll help you. And it's a nice little boost, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, Tony, what have you been playing? Same game. Uh, I guess you could say I completed it. I got all the achievements yesterday. Um, beat all the main story bosses, main achievement bosses, and stuff like that. Uh, got through all three endings. Uh, I saved Scum, obviously, though, because I was just like, backup save, select this ending, load, select the other ending, watch it, load it one last time, watch that ending, mm. stuff like that. So um, I think... 80 hours or so Oof. uh and there's still nice. there's still stuff i've missed actually because like i'm talking to people yeah. still and it's, it's it's like one of those like breath of the wild things where it's like dude did you fight this thing i'm like no i don't know what you're talking about at all and it's like oh it's over in this region i was like never been there <laughs> they're like show yeah. me their map they're literally showing me a screenshot of their map I'm like never been there man <laughs> like, what? i think it's I maps actual maps i have to go find these maps yeah i'm just going through with points i don't have any maps whatsoever yeah but so uh, amazing game awesome uh it's definitely worthy of all the praise it's getting i think <laughs> if people the reviewers had gotten to the end game bosses i think they might have felt a little differently uh there are a couple end game bosses where i was just like what are you asking me to do right now uh and it was funny because i was actually hanging out with my brother friday night and i was showing him uh you know the end game and stuff like that and it was that one of the major optional bosses and he's like dude what the fuck he's just like what because he, and he's played a couple of these games already. he's like what the fuck and i let him try he's like fuck this game why are you playing he just started like a play he's like why are you playing this game it's bullshit well, he played bloodborne right yeah yeah he's he played, played bloodborne, bloodborne with them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. stuff like that so um cool. it's fun it's it's cool i really 
I still want to get um, them to have an optimization patch because there are a couple times where like the game would like lag for like one second, and like most games it's like okay, whatever, I can mm-hmm. I can deal with that. And this game was just, like it would freeze. I'm like, I know Especially. I'm getting hit. I know I'm getting hit right now. <laughs> like I'm gonna eat this fucking yeah. move. Just like a boss or something like that. That's, yeah, that's yeah. But, yeah, there's uh, been some slowdown a little bit, uh, and load times for me are not great on the Xbox Series X. Yeah, so. and uh, yeah, because I looked it up after you had mentioned, it. I was Double like, Jesus, I didn't, I didn't know that the PlayStation Five, yeah, SSD it's was the twice the speed fast. of the salt. Yeah, yeah. You should I write a letter. Like, I, you should write a letter. I was tweet, saying, tweet. I was saying how slow it was last week, and I timed it. It's like 20 seconds. Tweet at your boy Phil Spencer. Be like, bro, why is this half the speed? Why, of PS5? Why is this 20 seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Let's get into some gaming news. Uh, let's see. State of Play happened last week. Um, I didn't watch it, but uh, I did read the news afterwards. There's some great stuff revealed. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Mm-hmm. Ghostwire Tokyo new trailer was shown. Um, the Final Fantasy stuff. Final Fantasy Origin demo. Um, oh, the, I think the biggest thing for us here on this podcast was the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Absolutely. The That's collection. the biggest thing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at this list. and. I just yeah, unbelievable like that was announced and Konami again we talk about Konami in this podcast and you know I will always say fuck Konami because I mean like they have done nothing with their IPs and that makes me angry and as Tony said I think if you, I know you said this last week or a couple weeks ago you're like they'll release something collection and you'll be like they're uh, it's amazing yeah and, and then lo and behold <laughs> yeah. you know the, the turtle collection um, yeah. came oh, out uh... or coming out. So and well, I'm 13, excited 13 for... games, right? 13 yeah. 15. 15. Yeah. Okay. 15. 15 games. Uh of classic Turtles games. Turtles in Time, which is a very hard game to get. Both arcade um, and Super Nintendo. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's Every awesome. version of the, the fire game. With online play? Yep. Oh. I so think good. two I think or three so, yeah. have online play. Yeah. So Yeah. So good. Uh there's like a, there's a lot of those. I mean, the Cowbunga collection is what it's gonna be. There's no release date yet, but later this year. Uh and it's got the original NES Turtles, which I never beat, but with the, they have QOL stuff coming into this game. Mm-hmm. So yeah. with those kind of things, I might be able to beat that game finals. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I mean, I only so, beat it with bullshit emulator, like save state. Yeah. You know, kind I, of thing. I, I don't think I mean, that game, oh my God, that game. Mm-hmm. People, all right, we, yeah. we just talked about hard games like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, all that type. Yeah. People have never played NES games because 99% of NES games were actual bullshit because that was an artificial mm-hmm. way to make these games last longer for kids because... It was like, you know, we got to make it hard so these kids fucking die forever until they learn it. Yeah. You the know, game's so, like two hours yeah. long, but they make yeah. you... Yeah. <laughs> they were really short, but they would take yeah. you forever to get through. Yeah. yeah. Take years so. sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like, um... Was it Lion, Lion King? King. Like? Lion yeah. King, yeah. Yeah. Lion any of those, King, any of those uh, old Disney games, like uh, Lion yes. King, Aladdin. Oh, yeah. Aladdin was really hard. Yep. Yeah. Lion King was brutal. Yeah. I had my best Lion King run in recent years <laughs> same thing with the x-men game yeah. um but I, but i'm really excited about this because i've actually kind of been getting oh frozen i don't want them to they, 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 want them to, they, they don't want them to speak i thought it was me at yeah. first i was like that because I, I just changed windows to read the, the list of games again but i guess it's yeah i got kicked out of the uh the, this the video last that happened to you oh, interesting I was wondering what you were doing. Mike's gone. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's supposed to have some issues. Yeah. But, uh... No, I'm excited about this, though, because, I mean, like, honestly, like, those those games are so awesome. And, I mean, I love Turtles, but I'm it's more of, like, a nostalgic love. And, and that's where I prefer it. You know, like, I'm not saying I wouldn't watch yeah. Ninja Turtles, but, like, for me, it's like, oh, you know what? I am I can recognize this as, like, a childhood thing, and, and that's totally fine. Like, I'm not really, like, oh, bring back yeah. Turtles, you know, new movie, Michael Bay. That kind of, I was like, nah, I don't care about that. Yeah. Um, but this is just an awesome collection. Like, 15 games. So, gen- like... The price of one of these games is easily yeah. more than they ask. The, the MSRP got, is thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's got tournament, tournament fighters in this, which are fighters. It's a great fighting game. I can't wait for that. Yeah, it's got um, those Game Boy games that were rare. Yeah. Um, you know, not well loved and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the Game Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just so yeah, it's good. The great timing. Uh, you know, got the like, Turtles game coming. Yep. Too, so, yeah. At some point. Yeah. <clears throat> and to me, um, it's like this is just proof that like people love seeing that there nostalgia and like i just want more of it like i want like you know mike just before he got disconnected you know was mentioning like where uh, was that it, <laughs> whatever you were about to start to say and then yeah. you just kind of like froze we're like are you gathering your cool. thoughts or whatever so you <laughs> get pick it off from whatever 
Um, um, that exact face too. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. What I was what I was saying is I've in the last few years I've been sort of getting the Genesis versions of uh, those right. turtle games. Um, yeah. And uh, but tournament fighters for Super Nintendo has been one I've been looking for for a We're while. So I'm yeah. And that I'm is very expensive, excited about that. Yeah. 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 And um, the game the uh, Game Boy ones will be interesting to see if we want to play those again, but. And also the um, even the Super Nintendo version of uh, Turtles in Time, something I've only played at like that, a PAX. I'm guessing that so. one has online play, so I look forward to playing online with you guys, and you know, we'll see. Yeah, they said they said there's quality of life improvements too that would aside yeah. from just like being able to save. There might we're be hoping other to stuff. beat the NES. That's what we're hoping to beat the NES yeah. versions of these games because those were impossible. So. So yeah, I'm excited. It was the yeah. really the only thing I cared about at this state of play, yeah. but it's cool. Well, yeah, that's really it too. Um, Gotham Knights. Oh yeah, that uh, garbage. <laughs> Gotham Knights ten twenty five. Uh, I guess my that prediction is wrong. Gameplay. What it wasn't? I don't know. Same day. <laughs> no, it's a separate announcement. Separate, All right, separate. separate announcement. But did we have anything else to say? It was just Japanese. <clears throat> yeah. The only other thing was like they had like a kind of a spiritual successor to like Final Fantasy Tactics almost. But, yeah, no, the Square like Square actually announced two games. new games. Um, one of them was like yeah, a tactics like one. game, and Valkyrie Elysium, which yeah. like I got I so excited for. Asking. And then once they showed all gameplay, I was like, wait a second, you're making this like an action RPG, which there's yeah. a plethora yep. of these days. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I I've never had my hype go from zero to a hundred back to zero so quickly. Um, <laughs> hold out hope uh because i love that franchise all you know three of the games or whatever like that but um i feel like square totally like just blue ball us it's like hey you haven't had a game in the series for 15 years you're getting a new valkyrie game it's like okay and it's completely different from you know the genre it was it's like uh, all right mm -hmm. <sighs> square Enix. yeah i don't know man all right uh, like I said, the Gotham Knights game, which I thought would be canceled, yeah. uh, <laughs> apparently it's not being canceled. It's coming out the, uh, October twenty fifth of of this year. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I predicted that it would be delayed till after Suicide Squad or just that one or both of them I, would be delayed out of the year. I did say one was going to be canceled, so I still got a shot. But well, uh, I'm just I'm not excited about this game. I, I, I what I do find funny is a lot of people who were who were excited and are just like oh that's so far away because you know it never really had a release date at all it was just vaguely no. last year and now it was vaguely this year but this is as, as soon as i could have pictured it coming and who knows it probably still will get delayed from this anyway I don't think it's um, this year. but it has, at least it's being developed we know that but we least. but we haven't know. had gameplay footage now for what like a year and a half we've had a cinematic last september i think but yeah, the only gameplay that, footage we saw was like the was it the E3 or was it um a DC day? I think I think it was, I think it was the first fandom. fandom. Yeah. yeah. Fandom. So a year literally a year and a half was the last time we saw gameplay. And again, my theory is people did not like it because it, it looked RPG. -y. Mm -hmm. People had like levels and damage counters and a lot of people were like, "Oh, that's not what I want." I think mm -hmm. they had to change things quite a bit and that's why we haven't seen gameplay for over a year Maybe. and a half. We'll that's, see. We'll that's, see. That's, that's also why I find it hard to believe that this game will really come out in October. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, it was weird. I guess uh, you mentioned it too, Mike. Like they were like they release a date, but they don't release a trailer with that. Like you'd think yeah. you'd have a trailer to come along with nothing. And then kind of mm, yeah. the day at the end. No, of this the project, this project, I I guarantee you, it was in development hell for a long time. I mean, it was probably I think they talked about it, it was a different game entirely for a long time. But it's I, it a I guarantee you, Wayne game for a while. Yeah, I guarantee you at this point it's just um, Warner Brothers Studios is being like, you need to ship something. Like, don't care how it is anymore. You just need to ship it. COVID too, man. I mean, like, and really a, yeah, go through that too. And it's again, I I am almost certain that at one point this was supposed to be Arkhamverse, and then Rockstar is like, no, we want our Arkhamverse still, even though we're departing from it so much. And I swear they switched. I I I'm. Like ninety percent sure we're going to hear about that having actually happened in the future when someone like reports on this because it just the premise of this game just makes no sense to not be a follow up to Arkham Knight, but then it's not. I don't know. It's just so strange. Mm. Yeah. 
we'll see how it comes out. I mean, let's see. It's going to be this year, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, uh, as, when... as much as I'm down at it, I'm probably going to play it whenever it exists, <laughs> unless it gets absolutely I'm like the old... decimated. <laughs> The old uh, right, we'll sadist see. of the group playing games he yeah. doesn't want to. Even if it gets decimated, Mike, you're still going to try it. Come on, come on, just you won't well, pay full price for it, but you'll you'll get it. Well, see, the thing with Avengers, I avoided that because it was decimated, and then I played it for free on Game Pass eventually. <laughs> yes, so you'll play it if it's for free on Game Pass eventually. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Randy Pitchford tweeted, uh, "Tiny Tina's Wonderlands shipping March 25th. It will have full crossplay on all platforms, which is pretty good." Nice. Got it. You got to do it, man. If you're gonna have a game like that, yeah, you know, yeah, it's great. Really get as many people in as possible. Yeah. So good, good job. Good, good do that. Really yep. Happy. That was the big one we didn't know about. Um, and then, well, then we talk about. Let's talk about Perfect Dark to finish this out. Uh, uh, man, uh, it's it. been reported that as much as half the core development team have quit in the past year on Perfect Dark. From that, sounds that like can't hell. be good for business. That sounds like hell, right? It's not good. Like I don't. Know. It's not good. And then how far away is this game? Five years now at this point. I guess? It's next gen. Five you might game? as well just consider it next gen at this point. Yeah. I just, there's no way it's coming out. Zero. Uh, Zero percent. Includes game director, design director, lead level designer, um, like a writer, two senior system divider. Uh, the, yeah. There's the principal world builder. All of them have left this game. Uh, a group what of three have got a world designers. A ton of people have left. I don't know. Well. Is it because of their stupid con- contract clause where you can't be employed for more than a certain amount of time? The only thing I read was that it was literally all creative, like control or something, which it has to be more than that for it to be that many people. But yeah, I mean, it has to be a disaster because, like, so the thing is, a lot of those people that are senior leads, senior and above, you know, whatever, I mean, those people don't leave their existing jobs without some kind of like guarantee of like, they do this where it's like um, you come in and if you work for us for two years or three years or whatever it is, whatever length of time, you get in a bonus on top of it. So they lure them over with bigger salaries and whatever fucking studio they're at. And they say, hey, if you if you help us ship this game by staying on with three years or, or at least, you know, whatever, getting off the ground, pre-development, whatever the hell yeah. you want to call it. They're like, you get a bonus of 100,000, 200, whatever it is, you know, okay. but not a year. Not a year. A year is way too little for these people to fucking leave for one year yeah. salary and not meet their bonuses. So something awful must have happened with this project or between them and, and it's whoever, just Microsoft. Just you know, I'd be I'd be lucky, really curious to see what uh, Phil Spencer has to say uh, in retaliation to this. Because uh, yeah. that is not a good look. And, it, and that was such a big point for their one, um, their one show, too. They talked it up so big. They're yeah. like, it's, um, you know triple a next gen future gen whatever marketing buzzwords they invented for that conference no i know uh, i was kind of psyched that they announced this game obviously it's way early in it and we won't see it till next gen at this point so if, it, if we see it you know mm. so all right that's gonna wrap up 587 mm. Elden Ring sold 12 million copies that just came out that's good worldwide Damn. It's crazy. Dude, good what? word oh press release yeah 12 million, million copies for Elden Ring. Good for them. Good for them. That's, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. It's going to wrap up 587 of the Gamecast. Thanks for tuning in. Again, we're on Twitch Tuesday nights. Uh, YouTube the following day or on Twitch for two weeks, I think, after that to keep those videos up there. We're on Spotify and iTunes uh, audio versions. So please check those out, guys. Uh, more great content coming your way. We'll see you soon.